In this video, we will explore moon phases using the simulator provided by the University of Nebraska at Lincoln Astronomy Department. To find a simulator, you can type in to a search engine UNL simulations, find the one that's for astronomy education, and amongst the top menus, the one we are currently interested in is under smartphone sims. This also works on any browser. Scroll down to simulation number two. What you are looking at in the main view is a model representation, not to scale, of the sun, earth, and moon. The simulation is from a simplified view looking down from above the North Pole of Earth. We are also approximating the orbit of the Moon around the Earth as circular. Again, these are simplifications. The person standing on the Earth is going to be our point of view from the ground. What they are going to be seeing is displayed in the picture above. We are facing south and we are starting at noon. We have widened the field of view to also include east and best. As the day goes by and the earth rotates, the sky will seem to move around us from east to best. The moon is not visible to us right now, not because it's daytime, but because it aligns with the sun, meaning we are only seeing its side that is facing away from the sun and is dark. This phase is referred to as new moon. Let's start the simulation. Again, as the earth rotates from west to east, the sky and anything on it will seem to rise from the east and set in the west. As we are going through the days, notice that as the moon orbits around the earth, we are starting to see a sliver of its daytime side making the shape of a crescent. When we see about half of the lit side of the moon, that is seen as first quarter, which is then followed by gibbous moon, specifically on this half of the orbit, where the moon is growing, it is referred to as vexing ribbons. Once the moon displays all of its lit side for our viewing, that is known as full moon. We see the entire disk of the moon high up in the south sky at midnight.
Once we leave that, the moon will display less and less of its list side, making it a waning gibbous moon. Eventually, making it to when we only see about half of the lit side, which is third quarter. Notice that by now, the moon is in the morning skies, rising just before sunrise. At this point, we see mostly the darkened side of the moon during waning crescent before we complete the whole month back to new moon. If you wish to play around with the combination of the Earth's rotation and the Moon's orbit, feel free to grab either of the bodies to move them around. Or if you want to slow down and see in detail when the Moon may rise after the Sun, during the waxing phases or before the sun during the waning phases, you can incrementally fast forward day by day or hour by hour. Have fun.